Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at the Maclaurin series related to a binomial expansion. If we have a function f of x that can be written as 1 plus x raised to the k exponent, and k can be a 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 or any number, it can even be a number not equal to an integer, but we'll start with the, e the easy cases first. So let's assume that k can just be an integer anywhere from 2 to infinity, so to speak. And then we realize that the Maclaurin series can be defined as the function f of x can be described as the function evaluated at 0 plus the first derivative of the function evaluated at 0 divided by 1 factorial times x plus the second derivative of the function evaluated at 0 divided by 2 factorial times x squared plus the third derivative of the function evaluated at 0 divided by 3 factorial times x cubed, and so forth. So by now, hopefully, we're becoming familiar with the Maclaurin series. So what do we do? Well, we take the function as described by 1 plus x raised to the k power. And of course, if we expand that, k could be like a 4 or 5 or 6. We have then what we call a binomial expansion. But we take that now, and we evaluate that function as is for x equals 0. When we do that, you can see that when x becomes 0, we have 1 to the k power, and k can be any integer greater than 2 or greater, and then, of course, we get that to be equal to 1. If we now take the first derivative of that, we use a chain rule, we put k in the front, have k minus 1 as the new exponent, times the derivative of what's inside, which is 1, and then if we evaluate that at f of prime, f prime of x, x being equal to 0, we get a k, because then this becomes 1, 1 times k is k. Take the second derivative, you begin to see the pattern, we multiply by k minus 1, now we have k minus 2, 1 less than the exponent, times the derivative of what's inside, which is still 1. When we evaluate this function at x equals 0, notice that this still becomes 1, we have 1 times this, so we get k times k minus 1. And the pattern continues. This is for the third derivative, we evaluate it at x equals 0, and we get k times k minus 1 times k minus 2, and so forth. And for the nth derivative, the coefficients here will be k, k minus 1, k minus 2, ends at k minus n plus 1. Notice that when the derivative here is 3, that the last number here is a minus 2, so we have to add 1 to n when we subtract n from k to get the correct value there. We still have 1 plus k, to the or 1 plus x to the k minus n. So n now will be the number here. That's the nth root instead of the third root. And if we evaluate that function at 0, we can then see that we get k times k minus 1 times k minus 2 times k minus 3 all the way up to k minus n plus 1. So now when we add all those together, because now we're going to add those terms together, but in each case, each consecutive term, we're going to multiply times x by x squared by x cubed and divide by 1 factorial, 2 factorial, 3 factorial, and so forth. So the Maclaurin series for binomial expansion then looks as follows. f of x is equal to 1 plus x to the k power. That's the function we start with. But that can now be written as the infinite series from n equals 0 to infinity. Of course, we have the nth root. Well, we start with the zero root, the first root, the second root, the third root, and so forth. So the zero root, the first root, the second root, the third root, times x to the n power. You can see that x to the first, x to the second, x to the third, divided by n factorial. One factorial, two factorial, three factorial. So this is the compact format of that series. When we expand this numerator here, we can then see that this can then be replaced by this right here. So we have that here. So this times x to the n divided by n factorial is the Maclaurin series of a binomial expansion. It's actually a very useful expansion, and we'll see some examples of that in the future videos. And that's how it's done.